I'm gonna go through the process of creating this 1920s inspired look. I was inspired by The Great Gatsby. Enjoy the video. Okay, so the first step is I'm gonna start with my fresh age delay black tea lotion with SPF and I'm just gonna put that all over my face to start off with a moisturizer. Um, it just helps your makeup lay better and looks really good. Next is the Fresh Advanced Therapy Lip. It just smooths it out so there's no cracks, no bleeding, anything like that. Then I got the Sephora Collection Roller Ball that has those little silver balls in it that helps kind of depuff my eye circles. Then I'm going to go in with Cover FX Calming Primer. This is going to take help take out some of the redness in my cheeks. That way I don't have to use as much foundation. I'm going to put that all over. It feels so good. Then I'm going to put the Makeup Forever Mist in FX and I'm going to fan that, get that all dry. Now I'm going in with um, the Smashbox Studio Skin and I'm going to use a stippling foundation brush to put that on. And I'm just kind of spreading, buffing, uh, go downward motions. Um, now I'm going to go in with my finger with that same foundation and just kind of go over any extra redness by my nose and on my lower cheeks. And make sure you blend in with your neck. <laughs> now this is my favorite, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm going to give myself a lot of highlighted areas. So I'm going to go in the down motions. I'm going to use the Micro Mini Beauty Blender to blend this in. I'm just going to do that in a stippling motion all the way over the concealer. And I put some in the middle of my forehead on my chin and then under the eyes just to brighten everything up. And then I conceal a little bit more redness. So dirty you. Next, I'm going to do the mist and fix again. Now I'm going to do my brows. If you want to see a brow routine, let me know. I would love to do one. So I'm just going to fill those in. Make sure you do hair-like motions. Now it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just going to use a very small amount and put that all over my eyelids. So it'll keep my eyeshadow in place and have it last all day. And this is really important when you're using these BH Cosmetics eyeshadows. I'm going to use my Neutral Palette. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush, um, a honey brown color, and I'm just gonna buff this into my crease. And I'm gonna kinda go up towards my brow bone, but I'm not gonna go all the way to my brows, cause then I would look like a raccoon. So I'm just gonna blend, blend, blend. And if you think you're done blending, you're not. Just keep blending. It's gonna make everything look so good and the transition looks so smooth and gradient. Now I'm going in and I'm just going to define that outer corner a little bit and I'm pretty sure I used the same uh, brown, honey brown color and I'm just going to kind of blend that into that corner and just make it look really nice and sharp. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone using a lighter iridescent taupey color and I'm going to put this in my inner corners as well. Make sure you blend this down into uh, where you put that um, honey brown color in your crease. Now I'm going to go in with Half Baked by Urban Decay. And I didn't have a gold in the neutral palette, so I wanted to do something just because, I don't know, 1920s, I just feel like it's all about glamour. And I'm just going to work that into my inner to center of my lid and kind of blend some more of that taupey color into it, into my crease. Now I'm going in with my Hourglass Gel Eyeliner in Obsidian, and I'm going to put that in my inner rim and then right on top of my lashes so I can have a good base for my lashes. Um, I love this stuff. It's like, like the gel pot, but it's a pencil. Uh, you can buy it in a three pack and it's supposed to last up to like three months or something like that, which is awesome. This is a Sephora Collection White Nano Eyeliner and I'm doing this on my lower just to kind of open my eyes up a little bit more because I want them to look really big and open and just really pretty. Now I'm going in with the Marc Jacobs Omega Lash. This is my favorite mascara. I'm just going to kind of put a nice small coat on right before I put on my lashes. Right. do it so awkwardly but 
I'm gonna use the Sephora collection flutter lashes. I really like those. I'm doing a wing, so I figured they'd be like perfect because I want my eyes to kind of go open on the outer sides. I feel like that's very glamorous looking, which is what I'm looking looking to go for. Wow, I suck at talking. But oh, I just love those lashes. They're so pretty. Now I'm starting off with my dramatic wing. And I do get a little bit mad, you can see that coming up soon, but I just go, I like to start off using my wing first just so I can get a guide of where to go. And then I start by filling it in. Um, for this look, I went all the way to my inner corner and I did a really nice thin gradation out to that outer wing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and then I'm just gonna use that same mascara and put a little on my lower lashes. Now I'm going in with a soft pink blush from my BH Cosmetics 10 blush palette. I'm just gonna really buff that in onto my cheekbone. Um, I didn't want to do too dramatic of a blush just because I didn't want to take away from my eyes. Now this is my favorite thing ever, Opal by Becca. I'm gonna use a deluxe fan brush by BH Cosmetics and I'm just gonna put that on my cheekbones, my brow bone, down the hollow of my nose, on my chin, just to kind of like bring a lot of dewiness to my face. This is a CoverGirl lip pencil. I do not know the shade. I am sorry, but it's a really pretty nude. I'd say it's about a medium nude. It's got a lot of brown to it, so I added a little bit of like a mauvey pink from my Bobbi Brown lip palette. And I think this is the mini version. I'm pretty sure it's going to be at Sephora on Beauty on the Fly for this coming holiday. I'm just applying this with a lip brush just to add a little bit of pink to um, match my blush. Oh, I love it. It looks so pretty. And then I'm just going to top that off with a few coats of lip gloss. And this is a Rimmel, London Rimmel lip gloss. I really like it. It's a really pretty pink. So I went ahead and I did my curls with just a wand. And um, I pinned them up after I was done so they'd be really bouncy and curly because um, I didn't have enough time to do finger waves in my hair. I know how to do them, but I just wanted to do this like as fast as possible. And I know most people do not know how to do finger waves and I really didn't want to try to explain it because it's hard. And I'm just going to kind of like fluff that out, kind of make it like straight on top. But I want it to still kind of have a little bit of texture because... I want it to kind of look like finger waves, but obviously not be finger waves. <laughs> so I look at this beautiful headband. I got this from Salon Centric, and you can only go there if you have a cosmetology license, but if you know somebody, I'm not sure the exact brand, I'll try to link it below, but oh, I just love it so much. And I'm just like messily, like just putting my hair into the band. Um, I don't want this to be perfect. I'm kind of like separating the curls a teensy bit just to add a little bit of volume to them. Um, but I'm not going to make this as perfect as possible because I want my curls to look messy and cute. Kind of like the 1920s flapper look. So I'm just going to secure a few of the curls that are looking a little bit crazy with some bobby pins. But I'm going to make sure those bobby pins are hidden because you don't want bobby pins just hanging all over the place because that's gonna look bad. So here it is. It's the finished look. I'm absolutely in love with it and hopefully you enjoy um, and learned a few things. But thank you so much for watching and all right, have a great so Halloween. thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed or picked up a little bit of tricks or tips or anything if you are wanting to do a 1920s inspired look this year. Um, thank you so much and have a great one. Um, I was inspired by the Great Gaps. Gats. I was inspired by the Great Gatsby. Gatsby. I was created. I was inspired by the Great Gatsby. Um, you know. Okay, I'm gonna try that one more time. I have to like write everything down, otherwise I get confused. Mm. Yeah, I really like this.
this look. I think I'm gonna go to work like this. Yeah, I'm gonna go to work like this. Yeah, it's gonna happen.